Appeals court rules President Donald Trump cannot ban critics from his Twitter account. And also breaking at this hour, the House Judiciary Committee has moved to authorize subpoenas demanding for documents and testimony related to White House immigration policies. Many of President Trump's current and former staffers are potentially facing subpoenas, including former Attorney General Jeff Sessions and former Chief of Staff John Kelly. The president's senior advisor and son-in-law, Jared Kushner, could also face a subpoena. And in other political headlines this afternoon, later today, a federal appeals court will consider the future of the Affordable Care Act. This all comes as several Republican states and the Justice Department join the latest attempt to declare Obamacare unconstitutional. The Affordable Care Act has survived challenges at the Supreme Court twice so far. And Governor Whitmer has responded to the fight over the Affordable Care Act, saying in part, every Michigan resident deserves access to quality, affordable health care. We're committed to working every day to make sure Michigan families can get the care they need. And that starts by defending the Affordable Care Act. Another big announcement for development and jobs in Detroit today. City officials announcing that the auto supplier Dakota Integrated Systems will build a plant at the site of the old Kettering High School. That's on Detroit's east side to support a new FCA assembly plan. The Dakota facility will create 625 jobs. And Mayor Mike Duggan says city residents will benefit when that new plant is built. They will build out 600,000 square feet, $55 million plant, fully built a year from now on this site. And I'm glad to say that Andra Rush has agreed to the FCA Detroit hiring provision, which means Detroiters will be hired first for all 625 jobs. So some exciting news there. Another bonus for the city is that the site is being purchased for $2.6 million with that money going to Detroit Public Schools.